Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Hundred million dollar stadium blowout money pit. They are building a new stadium. Well, they are in disguise. It's a stadium, but really, I think it's going to be a future FEMA camp. Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA camp. But they're going to be putting people who step out of line of the government's rule to process them to find out who they are. That's that's um they're already functional. In America. The governments also know in the future there's going to be more catastrophes like these bushfires in Australia where entire towns may get burned to the ground. These people have nowhere to stay, so where would they put them? They'll put them in these FEMA camps, like a good thing. They could bring, you know, 10,000 refugees from overseas somewhere where we've blown up one of their countries, so we're doing a good thing. There's no more government housing, so where do you put them? In a FEMA camp. There's, the governments know of the future and there's going to be more catastrophes. That's why they're building these FEMA camps. It's not good. Wednesday, December 18, 2019. The cost of the controversial demolition and rebuild of a Sydney football stadium has blown out by almost $100 million. This stadium is only around 32 years old. It's a still stadium. Why would they need to knock one down after 32 years to build it a little bit bigger? Crazy. It will now cost $828 million against the $729 million that was budgeted. Look what they've done to other stadiums. January 2019, a body blow to terrorists scans to detect bomb vests and high-powered rifles at stadiums. For your protection, for all these terrorist attacks that aren't happening in Australia. Covert body scanning can identify suicide bomb vests and high-powered rifles is being developed in New South Wales to help authorities foil terror plots at crowded outdoor events. Again, sounds great, but if there's something more sinister behind this and more scanning of the people. Where event security will be able to secretly scan people from a distance as they move towards venues. So if you watch closely, also, to be able to use high-tech scanners to pick up the faces of criminals and suspects in large crowds. They are extremely accurate, but they are highly invasive. While it cannot detect small handguns and knives, it could pick up concealed explosives and high-powered weapons that can cause mass devastation. The grant was among 10 million in funding the federal government has allocated to a total of 16 Australian businesses with great ideas like these. The funding will help improve the capabilities and competitiveness of these businesses, promoting economic growth and creating Australian jobs. What sort of people are going to be put in these family camps when hell breaks loose? The only reason hell is going to break loose is because people are going to be going nuts. I'm going to predict 5G, people shooting down a 5G mask because their family is being harmed by a 5G base station outside their house. Don't forget, these 5G base stations are going to be every 300 metres. They'll be everywhere. 5G is a microwave frequency, same as your microwave oven. It's already harming and killing things in other countries like England and America, where it's now up and running. That's just one of the things. People are going to be getting sick. They might want to be putting people who are unvaccinated in a FEMA camp to get processed if you don't have ID on you. They might put you in these stadiums as a FEMA camp. People are going to be getting sick. They might want to be putting people who are unvaccinated in a FEMA camp to get processed if you don't have ID on you. They might put you in these stadiums as a FEMA camp to find out who you are, what you're doing, under the thinking that you or you're a terrorist. You've got to be careful. We've got to find out who everybody is. October 2017. To knock down and rebuild both ANZ, ANZ and Sydney Football Stadium at a cost of over $2 billion. So much money is getting spent on stadiums. Why? They need to be high security. Is sporting events really that important for terrorists? Is that, is that what they're targeting? Or once again, a stadium is really being set up for future FEMA camps. It might be 20 years until all this happens, 10 years. But they always plan things long in the future. Why would they build it when they need it? Build it way in advance and no one's suspect of anything. No one's even heard of the FEMA camp. And as promised, an 810 million refurbishment of ANZ Stadium. Refurbishment. All they're doing is putting all these high-tech scanners to be spying on everybody, finding out who everyone is. And if you do get thrown in one of these camps, good luck escaping with this kind of security holding you there. Trust I'm wrong, but the future will tell and... 
this video, I trust will be around for people to look back on. And maybe when people look back in 10 or 20 years and this has all come true, they might think maybe we shouldn't be trusting our government now. Always to look in the past at things that have happened. I said cigarette smoking was okay for you when it first started, asbestos. They allowed all that. They allowed the artificial sweeteners to be in food right now. They're starting to prove now how harmful they are to people. They all allow everything. Then in the future, they prove that it was harmful, then they stop it. But the damage already done. These FEMA camps being built, these stadiums being built, and nothing but federal emergency management agencies to lock up the good people of Australia when they're trying to defend their families against the harms that the governments are causing to them through 5G, food, vaccinations.